Hi, my name is Sydney Marlo Weeks. I don't know when you're seeing this video. I don't even know who you are, but if you know who I am, thank you for tuning in again. That's not even my intro. If you know who I am, no, wait, what is it? If you don't know who I am, thank you for tuning in. If you do know who I am, thank you for coming back. It is 6.30 in the morning on a Monday, Monday, July 13th. We will never forget this day because it is iconic. I don't know when you're going to see this video, but I did not want to miss out on this moment. It's pretty, it's pretty iconic in my life right now. And I just kind of wanted to come on here before whatever video gets started and just give you a preface. So today is July 13th, Monday. I'm currently around my work area, 6.30 in the morning. I just, I have a lot to do today. So I came in early. I was so excited from yesterday that I couldn't sleep. So I was literally up at 4.30 this morning. And I just got up, got dressed and I'm like, let me go to work. Cause that's what entrepreneurs do. But yesterday, July 12th, 2020, I accepted my first luxury apartment home. And I'm so elated to share the news to my camera because I haven't told anybody yet. So my mother knows, of course, my mom went with me. And just to give you a preface, I graduated in 2018 from Penn State. I got two degrees in business, one in marketing, one in management. And I started working for my family's company. I've always worked for my family's company, but I started like officially like in senior staff status 2018 so i've always worked for my family's company in 2017 i came back to philly from main campus penn state just because i did my internship at my family's business was it 2018 was it 2018 i think it was either like end of 2017 early 2018 that i moved with my mom it's been about like two years now that i've been living there i love living with my mother do not get it twisted my mom is my literal best friend because i'm a capricorn i like my own space and even though i have like a whole bunch of space if you see my room tour video i have the whole third floor of the house to myself and we do live in like a more suburban area so it's a huge house i have plenty of space but i do like my independence i do like having something that i can call my own so in projections i was looking to move out by the time i turned 26 i'm currently 24 years old my birthday is january 10th so that's about a year and a half out projection that i was looking to move when talking to my mom about it my mom is like a master budgeter she also has a business degree she's really great at finance really great at accounting and really great at budgets my mom can give you a dollar and make a million off of that dollar like i don't know how she does budgets but it just works in her brain the way that we do budgets we write everything out on pen and paper because that never lies to you and when i was looking at my numbers and like my family's business is like like my main source of income but I do do other entrepreneurial things that gives me consistent monthly income that does not fluctuate ever like it's just like standard payments that I get from like certain clients like I've been really hustling like the last two years since I graduated college and with that being stated I had enough resources where I thought I actually needed more because like I'm always trying to like save more money be more prepared but that's the Capricorn in me so um my mom was like Sid you do not have to wait six months or a year like you can literally move out today if you wanted to and I was just like can we now so with that being stated we looked at everything I started looking at places and my mom was like you should really look at this place in this certain area now wherever this video is I'm never going to say like exactly where I live where I was looking was either going to be Ardmore which I did not pick or something a little bit further out that is actually more affluent than Ardmore and is coming up nicer, much more suburban community, much more affluent, white collar, luxurious lifestyle that I already live and I want to live even further, affirming it and also projecting higher in that lifestyle. And I'm literally always in that area, even though it's a little bit of a commute from work to where I'm going to be living now. It's nothing crazy. Like it's not like an hour or a half or anything like that. So it's nothing terrible. And I have a great car that's paid off and my gas is literally like $15 like for a week. And luckily my car does really well on gas. So it holds like really long with that commute. And that's why like I didn't mind it because I knew like if I had to escalate it would be different but like I literally have a Honda Civic so my car Henny me and Henny are getting back and forth easily but I was looking at like different places I was looking at Ardmore I was looking at Center City because I was going to get a loft downtown Philadelphia or I was looking in this specific area and I was like downtown's really noisy <laughs> like 
Everybody from New York, let me put you on some free game, is moving from New York to Philly to live because now Amtrak has this express train. You can get to New York in like 45 minutes or an hour or something crazy like that. So I was like, I really don't want to be like in the hustle and the bustle of downtown. Like, I love downtown, but like I'm not trying to like live downtown. It would have to be like on a really quiet street, which in Philly that's hard because something's always going on downtown. I was looking at Ardmore too, but like Ardmore is like, they're a little bit more like stuck up like snooty and like I'm not I don't always feel the Karens out there in Ardmore so this place like I'm always there I literally go to the Target there I go to the grocery store out there like I go to the mall out there and if you're in Philly you probably know who what I'm talking about um but I literally go out there all of the time like all of the time so I was like let me just like look around and I had a specific budget I did want to stay in. I had like two budgets. My one budget was like, all right, if we do this amount for a studio or a one bedroom, cause I was looking at like studios or like loft layouts and then also like one bedroom, one bath. I was like, all right, I kind of want to stay here cause then I can save some money. But then I was like, but if they have everything I want, I am willing to go higher because it's still within my budget. And I literally only looked because my mom, and my mom's the goat. Let me tell you about that woman. She's so fabulous. My mom is the goat in this whole process. Like I'm so thankful for her. We went out there to that specific area and I'm already familiar with it. Like I go to like all the stores, like they have like shopping centers, like stuff like that. And I don't want to tell too much, but they like, I'm out there all the time. So I'm very, very familiar with it. And we walked in and it was only like they have multiple apartment complexes all of them are luxury some of them are condos some of those are townhomes and then some of those are like high-rise luxury apartments like the one that I'm getting but the one specific place that I really 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 wanted like they had all the amenities that I wanted they had exactly the layout that I wanted they had like everything the price was right well I thought it was right but, like that is where I wanted to go that's where I wanted to live and I like it's crazy because my mom and I every time we would go grocery shopping we would be like man I know those apartments are nice like they were building them they're brand spanking new they just started moving people in February like 2020 of this year and then COVID happened so like nobody kind of moved in which is great because I got a great deal <laughs> but with that being stated for like the last like year year and a half whenever we would go to that specific grocery store my mom would be like man those apartments are so nice we'd be like look at this town like they literally just built this whole entire community like within the last two years called them on Saturday and I was like hey um, I'm looking to move as soon as possible even though like in my head I was like I'd be comfortable with moving within six months but my mom was like go be free I really think she wants to live by herself but she's like go be free free go live your life go now go today you could afford it go tomorrow or whatever and I'm like all right I'm like I'm looking to move as soon as possible is there any way I know there's COVID and you guys are doing virtual tours is there any way that I can get in tomorrow Sunday I'm already going to be up there food shopping can I get a tour so the girl was like no problem um let me just check with the leasing manager she called the leasing manager they set me up for 4 p.m um my mom and I we already had to go to like Target out there so we were out there at like two o'clock we ran our little errands we did like a little walkthrough of like the streets and stuff like that and I I was like wow they literally have so many restaurants they have so many great restaurants like I want to say one of them but like an Italian steakhouse that I go to all the time downtown is now up there all the places that I go to frequently are up there so I don't even have to go downtown if I don't want to so we get there at 4 p.m well actually I got there like 3 o'clock because I'm always early because I'm a Capricorn so I got there like 3 o'clock and they were like oh you're early and I was like yeah it's okay like we'll wait but I just wanted to see if we could see the amenities while we're waiting looked at the amenities salt water pool like heated cabanas they have they literally have a spa for the dogs like i cannot like the amenities is crazy they have like a high-tech state-of-the-art gym they have those five thousand dollar like what is it platomic platomatic whatever those bikes are that cost like five grand they have like five of them it's ridiculous they have the alkaline water spout that you can put right in your water bottle in the gym like it was just like everything that I wanted times a thousand million like it was crazy so I'm looking at all the menus and my mom was like this is nice it like this is your lifestyle this is where I see you at it's a safe community they don't have a high crime rate or like really any crime rate at all because like that community out there like I said is very and I'm not saying that you know 
robberies or break-ins or crime can't happen in those type communities but when I check their rates it's very very low like one of the lowest in the city of Philadelphia or like even the outskirts of Philly so the girl comes back after we're done looking at the amenities she was like all right the room is ready the one that I was actually looking so at first I was going to get a studio because how their layouts are it's literally like freaking huge like usually studios are like 300 square feet this place was almost like the studio was like 650 square feet so I was like okay like it's small but it's not like terrible I literally had like a bedroom the only thing that the bedroom was open so it count as a studio but it was a full like one bedroom one bath so I was like let me look at this went up there it was top level it was literally so beautiful whole bunch of space like whole bunch of storage bathrooms were beautiful Italian marble um granite and then marble is actually imported from Italy and I was like granite's beautiful you know all stainless steel appliances beautiful stovetop beautiful you know oven and refrigerator like I was very happy with that and I was like okay I'll like I was so ready to like take that but look at God so I'm sitting there I'm talking to the girl so me and the girl start chatting it up she's also African-American and like I already know me and this girl's gonna be friends because like her and I were like literally chatting it up the whole time and she was like well what about a one bedroom one bath and I was just like uh um I said what are they going at first I was like no I really love the studio because I loved it it was like on the top floor I had nobody on top of me anything like that she was like why don't we go look at a one bedroom one bath and this one is actually more space but it's cheaper than the studio so I said I dios mio so we go ahead she opens it up for me I'm talking to my mom it is gorgeous like it is gorgeous and what I like the most is about that the girl that was showing me like the um the agent that was showing me like the apartment she lives there on the property so like I really liked it because she actually had insight like it's one thing when you're showing a property and you just go home to another property and you have no idea like you know how the neighbors are or anything like that but she lives there and she was like no listen like I live on the same type floor um I don't have any problems with like my neighbors they have like um soundproof like glass and soundproof like room so you literally could not hear anything like even outside you could not hear anything the ceilings like it is such high ceilings full granite countertop I have an island that I could put bar stools like I literally have a whole desk section where it's like a dry bar and then you have like a walk-in closet it is huge huge like all of my clothes are gonna fit I have a linen closet um I have another coat closet I have a tub and a shower the tub is huge and what I love the most about it because like I'm such like a clean freak germaphobe nobody has lived in this apartment before ever yet so I am the first tenant to be in that specific unit and I absolutely love it it is so close to all of the amenities I'm right in the heart of like it all I don't have to walk very far to get to like anywhere so it's wonderful like I'm in prime location and like my mom also made a really great point that like my grandmother who is about to be like almost 90 years old comes to visit me like she doesn't have to walk like so long because the other apartment the studio was like it was a really long walk from the elevator all the way to get to the studio on the fifth floor this one isn't a very long walk and I'm right by like all of the mix of everything so if I just want to like get up and go to the pool I can do that if I want to get up and go to the gym I can do that and it's literally like all right there I took pictures and I was just so excited because I was like yep I'm gonna put this there and like when I was looking at the apartment it's like I don't have to buy a whole bunch of course I'm gonna have to buy like furniture because that's what I want to do I could take the furniture from my mom's house but I really just want to like start fresh um probably the only thing that I'm going to take is like my bed for the most part like I'm going to get like a whole bed set I'm going to get a new couch I'm going to get like another tv I want to get like a 55 or 60 inch um flat screen tv that I'm going to do um and it's just like a whole bunch of stuff that I'm just so excited to get my theme for it because oh and it's all hardwood flooring oh my goodness I'm so happy because I hate in apartments where they have like hardwood in the kitchen hardwood in like the dining room and then like you go in the in the bedroom and it's carpet like I hate that so it's all hardwood flooring it's a beautiful deep mahogany hardwood I absolutely love it and then they have all white marble from Italy in my bathroom it is gorgeous like in the shower on the floors like it's all marble it is so pretty so I was really really happy about that but my theme is going to be um like creams and beige because a lot of the wood even in like the storage is like beige or like lighter cream and I don't have children so and I don't spill stuff I'm sorry if the lighting's going in and out but I don't have to worry about like 
me spilling stuff or like me having stains or anything like that like i don't have a partner i don't have a roommate worrying about that like i can decorate it exactly how i want it as luxurious as i want to and i don't have to worry about nobody messing up my stuff so my goal and my theme is going to be like all light beiges and like creams and off whites and just really nice neutral colors i might have like hints of black in there but i'm definitely going to have gold accessories as much as i love stainless steel like i just hate silver so like the fact that i have silver but everything else is going to be gold kind of irritates me but it's okay but everything else is going to be gold um hardware and different exteriors and different hints of gold and then i'm going to have like plants fake plants because i kill them every time and then bugs i don't want to deal with that literally this is like my dream apartment and like i said i'm not trying to say exactly where i live however the location that i'm at it is very safe because like even though philly's on the come up like i'm not trying to live in north philly and like spend the same amount of money i'm spending at this place and then like my car gets broken into or like i get robbed or like somebody breaks into my house like even though philly is not as detrimental or like philadelphia as they make it seem it's still up and rising like there's still high crime rates in the inner city so i really like that i'm like on the outskirts and not saying that i can't happen out there but it's very much more unlikely to happen out there than it is here it was a little bit on the higher budget side the apartment that i signed for however i'm very very excited and i can't afford it and this is the thing if you're going for an apartment you should have two budgets because like i had the first one that was like okay this is like my low budget and then this one is like okay this is the max that i can do and it's not at the very max that i can do but it's like it's, it's, al it's almost there but i have every single amenity i actually get to cut back because i can cancel like my planet fitness because i have a whole gym now like i have to commute to work but i'm not going to have to commute to like whole foods or anything like that in my refrigerator i have a alkaline water filter in the refrigerator and ice never had that before so that's amazing like the little things make me happy but it was like the small details that i put into that place it was just it, just, it was just amazing like honestly like I could not ask for anything more anything better the only thing I don't have is like a patio which like some units did have I'm right by the amenities like I'm in prime central location so if I want to go outside I literally could just go outside like it's, it's nothing too big or crazy for that plus patios cost more and I really don't need that energy in my life so I'm very very happy I'm very proud of myself because I can do this without like having to struggle or having to hustle like i can literally go to work come home and relax between my full-time job that i do with my family's business and then my other entrepreneurial um incomes that i have that is consistent and steady and has been for like the last year like i don't have to worry about where my food's going to come from or like where my rent's going to come from or like anything like it's it's just i have very like peace and sound of mind that's why i say it's so important to have a budget because of the fact that I really sat there and looked at my finances and when I was like, okay, if this is my rent, if this is my utilities, if this is my parking fee, if this is my, you know, they have like amenity fees, which I do have in this apartment, which is, it's like 30 bucks is fine. For a salt water pool, I'll pay $30 because I would be paying it at YMCA or any other subscription to go to the beach or the pools or anything like that. But I looked at that and I was like, okay, at the end of the month, this is all paid for. This is my main expenses, which is like my housing, my living. And then I was like, okay, what's like, my average food, okay, I gave myself a budget for that. What's my average gas? Gave myself a budget for that. Okay, can I still get my hair, my nails, and all, like everything, including like luxurious, trivial stuff, like getting my nails done or like going to Home Goods, is accounted for within my month and I can afford it by myself. Like, I don't know how much you guys understand. Like, mm, I don't want to get emotional, but it's just like such a great thing and if anything like i'm never coming on here to brag or boast or anything like that like i had to work my program all those years to really get to this moment to have the community and the atmosphere and the lifestyle that i really wanted but i worked really hard and on my own merit and my own integrity like i know we live in a society where like sugar daddies are cool or sugar babies are cool or tricking and treating or scamming like I literally worked hard and I obtained my success from just working hard. I didn't need a man. I didn't need to sleep with anybody. I didn't need to scam anybody. I didn't need to borrow anybody. I didn't need to have my hand out. Like, no, I hustled and now I'm here. That at 24, like at 24, I'm literally living in a luxurious apartment where millionaires and billionaires and like people that are like retired from their companies live at. like. It's literally crazy to me. Like, I just can't. 
and if anything i just want to be a testament especially to young girls and to women in general like you don't have to do those things you don't have to be a sugar baby you don't have to trick or treat you don't have to scam you don't have to do any of those things to get what you want all you have to do is work hard that is it that is all i did with that and a lot of prayer and from the support from my family and please do understand like when I move in there, Janine, my mother, is not paying for anything. I'm paying for it. Like, I don't have a guarantor. I don't have a co-signer. I literally don't have a roommate. Like, I'm so happy I don't have a roommate because, like, I was really like, do I need to get a roommate to be able to afford, like, what I want? And I literally did it by myself. Like, with me, the help of my mother and God, I did it by myself. And financially, it is all me. And I'm very proud of that because I worked really, 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 really hard for this. Like... Like, for instance, it was a lot of getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, being to work by 6.30, and now it's almost 7 o'clock, and here we are. Like, it's a lot of hustle moments, but when I tell you it's so worth it, because now, like, my projected move-in date is August 2nd, so now I can literally just go home and relax by the pool, or go to the gym, or, like, not be tired. Like, I have a place of my own that I can call home, my own house, like, not my mother's house, but my house. I love you, Mom, but it's my house. And I'm just so excited. Like, there's so much great stuff to come. And at first, I was nervous. I was so nervous because I was like, I know I'm going to get approved. Like, my credit's great. I know that I have savings. I know I have the income. Because anytime you rent, you should have, like, three times the amount of income. At least that's what they want to see. You don't have to, like, you could easily make twice of what your rent is and be able to afford it. But they want to see that you make three times the income. So I was like, I know I can do that. My main thing was like, I was just nervous. Like, can I handle this? And my mom was like, why are you doubting yourself? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm just overthinking because I'm a Capricorn and that's what we're good for. I was like, but when I looked at it and I always look at the numbers, I was like, Sid, you have money saved at the end of the month, plus everything that you do in a month already expensed and budgeted for. Like, I literally am saving money, plus my nails are done, plus I have food to eat, plus I have gas in my car, plus I have a parking spot, plus I have my rent paid, plus my utilities are paid, plus all of my other bills are paid. Like, literally everything that I'm doing is done. And I'm really, really proud of that. And sometimes it's hard because I doubted myself. I doubted myself a lot yesterday. I was like, can I, you know, afford this? Because originally what they had it posted on the website, the price was, it was actually like, four hundred dollars more a month but like i was still able to afford it and like i just had to work my program and pause and be like okay this is what i did i applied i got approved in an hour and a half like literally i applied left the apartment went food shopping at the place that's up the street like literally i could walk to the grocery store of my dreams i'm so excited so me and my mom went there we went food shopping for the week and by the time before i was at the checkout line they called me and was like hey you got approved when are you looking to move in and i was like august 1st or august 2nd she was like let's put you for august 2nd so that's literally less than two weeks that's less than 20 days like i said nobody knows i'll probably make this i'll probably post this video when i get my keys because i don't want to like i just don't like posting things until it's actually settled and finalized like i never want nobody wishing bad prayers on me or like low-key hating or anything like that so i'm going to post this when i actually like get my physical keys but this is the 13th of july it is monday i'm sitting outside of my job and i just i just got approved and i'm signing for my first luxury apartment by myself and i'm so excited and i'm very proud of myself and if anything I just wanted to come on here to be a testimony and an encouragement to women and really to anybody that's out there that you can do this. You can do this with support, whether whatever your support looks like, whether it's family or friends or yourself, because sometimes it's just you and you can make it happen. Whatever your lifestyle that you're going for, you can make it happen. I wasn't settling and that was the biggest thing. I knew what I wanted. I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew what I could afford. And I knew what the lifestyle that I'm trying to have, which is always luxurious, always high society, and always like trying to hang with the millionaires and billionaires. Cause I feel like when you're around something, you start becoming that. And now I'm hanging with millionaires and billionaires and living in the same apartment complex as they do. Like 
That's wild to me. I just want to be a testament. Wherever you're trying to go, you can get there, but you just have to do the work. You have to work your program. You have to budget. You have to put in some long hours, but I'm telling you it's worth it. This is a really great feeling. This is a really great moment for me at 24 years old, a single entrepreneur living in a luxurious apartment, being financially stable, self-employed. It is a great feeling so i hope you enjoyed this video i don't think this is going to be an intro this is like now a whole full video but i'll post this when i get my keys i love you all so much if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like home decor videos i'm having like a whole housewarming um party so i'm like trying to get my registry together and like my little wish list um for everything like that i want but i don't really need so um if you want to see that too if you want to see like an empty apartment tour or, like probably not gonna see an apartment tour for like a minute like a couple months until i get everything how exactly how i want it but if you want to see videos like that with home decor give this video a thumbs up and i'll do that for you comment down below let me know what you would like to see if it's specific topics i'd love to talk to you guys in the comments and also if you haven't already hit the subscription button down below join the family and hit the bell notification so you can see every time that i post i love you all so much i'm so excited guys like this is a really big moment and i'll see you in my next video bye